Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, welcome to my channel, this is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking and subscribing, I really appreciate your love and support, I do your reading daily and I upload your videos right away so these messages are current and in this reading for those of you currently separated from your person, we are going to find out how do they feel about you ever since the separation, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you, spirits and angels please uh, please show me how does Gemini Libra and Aquarius person feel about them right now ever since their separation Okay, so they are longing for you. They're longing to fix things with you because we've got the three of wands right here. So they are waiting. They could also, oh, we've got the sun here and love first. Uh, hidden beneath the lovers. Okay, so the three of wands here indicates them longing for you, thinking about the future in regards of both, for, uh, both of your connection. And right next to the three of wands is the three of pentacles. So for me, the three of pentacles indicates them um, actually feeling like they would like to work things out with you when the time is right so they could be waiting for the right moment to perhaps uh propose to you in regards of fixing things or rebuilding your connection the strength card here is some of first so they feel like maybe they need to swallow their pride or their ego and come forward in order to uh, to have this reconciliation with you with the three of cups i'm sensing they would like to see you date you um, spend time with you definitely leaning towards them feeling like this is not over yet but uh, the strength card in reverse kind of feels like in order for that to happen they may have to either release something or release their ego or their pride we've got the king of cups here in reverse ever since the separation they feel very overwhelmed they they don't know how to feel or you know the king of cups in reverse also is a king uh, whom whose emotion is not so stable so they're not emotionally stable right now but they're just waiting though with the three of wands and the knight of wands here is in love first you could be dealing with a fire sign aries sagittarius or a leo could also be a pisces cancer scorpio can be any sign okay virgo capcom taurus here as well i'm seeing with the queen of pentacles it doesn't really matter king or queen again it um I say this all the time, right? Uh, it's not gender specific. But the Nine of Wands here in my verse for me indicates them feeling demotivated right now ever since the separation. They feel like they cannot get things done. Um, they're not passionate about anything. They don't desire to do anything. They feel blank. That's what I'm getting here with the King of Cups here in my verse. It's like they don't know how to feel. They feel kind of numb. And certain days, they may be feeling um, like... There's this roller coaster that I'm seeing right now. It feels like the feelings right now for you, it's like up and down, up and down. And they're just sitting there waiting, not doing anything. Again, there's this energy of them feeling very demotiv demotivated or uninspired in, you know, carrying on with their daily life or daily chores or work we've got the queen of pentacles in reverse the lovers and the emperor in reverse they feel like this is now completely out of their control the separation right now mm, or maybe they feel like they've lost control over the situation over you um they could also be feeling with the three of wands and the rest of the cards here like they need to make a choice they need to make a choice either if it if it has something to do with somebody else in the picture they may need to they could be feeling like they need to make a choice before it is too late if there's nobody else in in the picture ever since the separation uh i'm definitely sensing them feeling like they still want you they still would like to choose you but right now they feel really pessimistic with the sun and what first they don't feel like the most positive at all 
So to me, it's sadness with the sun and reverse. They feel sad because the sun is a happy card. So the opposite of happy is sad, right? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse indicates you maybe are not investing in this person right now. So they may be feeling you are ignoring them. They also may be feeling that you are doing your thing. You're focusing on your work and you're socializing through your cups here while they are here feeling helpless, feeling powerless. And can't do anything but wait with the three of wands here. And longing for you, of course. Let's see more Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They still feel like you mean the world to them or the world here. Unless you have already closed this chapter and you, you've already moved on. They may be feeling like you're done and you've moved on. But they definitely see you as a missed opportunity. Four of Cups here in reverse. I sense them still wanting you, but the two swords here in reverse, they may be feeling that they missed this opportunity with you because of a decision that they have made in the past. With the ten of cups here in reverse, next to the two of swords, feels like um, they may be feeling like they've caused this disharmony. They may have caused uh, this breakup. Hmm. Or separation page of pentacles here as in love verse either they feel like you have rejected them because of something that they are unable to give you or because they were insincere at one point in time or immature hmm. and also we've got the ten of wands here it's it's been really hard for them ten of wands they feel like they have to carry a lot of burden or it could be responsibilities for some of you if you've done a lot with your thing uh, with your person you've helped them a lot or you've always been there for them now they feel alone like they themselves um have to do a lot of things on their own or carry a lot of burden responsibilities on their own ever since the separation hmm and the temperance here is in love first. So, yeah, again, they, they are definitely, ever since the separation, yeah, they're heartbroken, feeling devastated, also imbalanced. It feels like this energy where, you know, maybe both of you were so close. Again, it feels like maybe both of you did a lot of things together. And now, you know, it feels like somebody may have cut off one of their arms and now they're just you know have, have only have one arm is this a metaphor but um they feel like they've lost the other half okay which is you and the hermit here is in love first they feel lost they don't know what to do right now but they're hoping with the three of wands here hoping maybe in the future both of you can come back together can reconcile maybe start a new chapter again with the world here but obviously they are very sad right with the three of swords here Either they're sad because they were they couldn't give you the commitment or that they are sad that you couldn't give them the commitment. Either or it could go vice versa here. For some of you, if this only if this is due again to a third party situation um, that has led to this breakup or separation, they definitely feel like they need to make a choice in order for both of you to choose you, in order for both of you to get back together to reconcile. If this has nothing to do with a third party situation or love triangle situation, I just feel that they're not happy right now. Ten of Cups and the Sun supposed to be a happy energy, but they're both in love first, so they feel unhappy, they feel like their world has fallen apart. Again, there's this energy where they cannot concentrate on their daily chores or their work, they're just not happy at all. And if they seem to be happy, the Three of Cups here indicates maybe they've been drinking a lot. Um, they could also be feeling like they need to socialize with their best friends, close friends, and drink a lot in order for them to kind of try to get over you or to numb their pain. Let's just, let's just see a little bit more. The star... So they feel like they would like to heal this connection. They could also be going through healing and recovery right now. You know, the star in the world, these two cards are major arcanas and the lovers here. They still feel like you're the one for them. You still mean the world to them. They still love you with the lovers here. 
and with the Queen of Swords, which is you, they feel like you may have given them an ultimatum or that you're serious about cutting them off, about breaking up with them. Um, they may be feeling like you are very stern right now and there's something that you could be demanding of them, okay? Either, either they feel like you're demanding something from them right now or they feel like you have completely cut them off and you and you're serious this time around uh and you mean it right hence you're very heartbroken with the three of swords here they feel like things started off very solid between the two of you in the beginning but it didn't take off for some reason here because of the knight of pentacles in love verse maybe it's due to financial issues or uh, commitment issues hmm. all third party could be any of these things here but they feel like they would like to meet you in the middle three of pentacles here they feel like they want to see you they definitely miss you but also at the same time they feel like there's nothing they can do about it right now they feel very powerless for sure as in they don't have the upper hand right now like they cannot do anything about it until the time is right with the three of wands. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. This video is from my second channel. It's a vlog channel, and in that video, I was cooking. <laughs> Check it out if you want to. And also, I'll leave you with a playlist on the screen. It says bonus compilation reading. It has all of the readings that I've done for you. And for the rest of the signs, um, you can click on it, scroll the way down, look for your sign. There could be other important messages for you over there. And these videos are still very current because you guys know that I post your videos almost every single day. All right. And also, I am open for personal readings if you'd like to book me. My information is in the description box below. All right. Take care. Bye.